Today's video honestly feels like it's one that needs to be made. And as many of you know, I have gotten a lot, and I mean a lot, of flack for the past three months ever since I decided to embrace PlayStation and ever since I came to the realization that PlayStation is actually amazing and it's my new preferred way to play games, my new preferred place to play games and I feel the need to really continue to support what PlayStation has done here because I really like what they've done. You guys know that I have received so much flack because I, uh, you know, now I'm a full-blown PlayStation fanboy. And because of that, I will never say a negative thing about Sony or about PlayStation. I will never call something out. Now, most of you who have shown your support, which you have no idea how much it is actually appreciated, most of you know that this is not the case. You guys know that most of the time, I will try to call out the things that I believe need calling out. Uh, many people have said, MBG, why don't you talk about Sony's censorship? I did. I have a video on it. Just look in my history. Granted, it doesn't cover all aspects, but I think it, uh, it got the point across of where I stand on it. Many people said, MBG, you're so quick to call out the Xbox One Sat Edition. Why don't you just make a video talking about the PS1 Classic? Where's that video? When, in fact, I did make that video. It's there. So these people not only look foolish for you know, acting this way or, or, or saying these things, but they're being unfair. And the reason why I'm prefacing this video, and for anybody who's going to let me know, MBG, you don't have to explain yourself, I'm not explaining myself. Believe me, this is not me explaining myself. I'm not explaining myself for anything. I'm going to do what I want on my channel, whether anybody likes it or not. That's just the way it's going to go. So don't mistake this as me explaining myself. Rather, I'm just pointing it out to some individuals who want to label me a certain way or make it sound like I, uh, I have some kind of extreme bias to the point where I'll let things slide when, when I shouldn't. Apologies if you can hear the, uh, the lawnmower in the, in the background. Uh, there's an uh, apartment complex next to me that's getting their, their stuff done, so apologies if that comes up through the mic. But what we're going to be talking about today in this video is PlayStation Plus and the lineup of free games. Now I want to make it known that while I'm going to be mainly focusing on PlayStation Plus in this video, Xbox Live or Xbox Live Games with Gold has not been too great either and I'm not going to be comparing the two in this video. I'm just simply going to point out here that yes, I acknowledge that this month's offering with Games with Gold is absolute garbage. You're getting Marooners, Earth Defense Force, Insect Armageddon, The Golf Club 2019, and Comic Jumper. Yeah, so that's what you're getting on Xbox. It's garbage. Anybody who, you know, is a fan of Games with Gold has already expressed their disdain with this. But because I'm playing mostly on PlayStation now, we're really just going to be focusing on PlayStation Plus games. And let me tell you, man, this needs to change. This is where Sony needs to be smart and they need to make sure they don't get arrogant and that they aren't uh, doing this thing where because they, have, they feel they have uh, either no competition or very little competition that they can get away with these things, and they can't. And anybody, I don't care if you're the most die-hard PlayStation fan, I don't care if you're somebody who says, I don't care about PlayStation Plus, you need to care. These are things that you need to care about, because let me tell you, if it wasn't for the fans back in the day with the PlayStation 3 pushing back against Sony, PlayStation wouldn't be what it is today. Sony would have never learned, and that's what you need to understand. That's why, also, I'm so tough on Xbox and why I push them as hard as I do here in 2019, because they need to learn. They need to learn, and they won't learn, they won't get the message if we don't push them. And so PlayStation Plus, the games they're offering this month 
are Overcooked and What Remains of Edith Finch. And that's it. Now, we know that recently Sony took away PS3 and PS Vita games, and a lot of people were very upset about that. And frankly, a lot of people were rightly expecting Sony to replace that with something else. You're going to take something away, essentially decreasing the overall value of PlayStation Plus. You need to put something else there because it's just not fair. Or maybe, at the very least, you can lower the the price of PlayStation Plus, and instead they actually raise the price in some areas. This is the kind of stuff that we need to really push back against Sony and Microsoft, where we shouldn't have to pay for this to play online games. And we know that that is why the majority of people are paying for PlayStation Plus. A lot of people will say, you know, PlayStation Plus was great back in the day. They offered much better games. And a lot of people on the PlayStation 3, you know, when you didn't have to pay for this to access multiplayer games, they willingly paid for it because the offerings were so good. And Sony realized at that time that in order to get people to subscribe... The right way, you need to offer value. You need to make people feel like it's worth the money that they're going to spend on a membership like this. But now it's become clear that Sony and Microsoft have started, have realized that they have a fallback now. Because they paywall online multiplayer, they can get away with this stuff. And we need to hold them accountable for this. If you don't believe me when I say that people are very unhappy with getting overcooked and what remains of Edith Finch with the, quote, free games for PlayStation Plus, just go to their PlayStation YouTube uh, channel. I I always say that wrong. I say it backwards. The YouTube, the official YouTube PlayStation channel, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Go there. Look up the, uh, the video that is announcing these games, and you will see it sits currently at 365,000 views, and it has 4.9 k likes and 20k dislikes i'm going to say that again about 5,000 likes 20,000 dislikes 5 to 20 now that speaks volumes and you know there's going to be people who say that oh people are exaggerating and look if you're somebody who loves overcooked and you love what remains of edith finch and you think that this is a great value that's fine but just like i tell many people who are xbox fans and try to defend xbox and a lot of the things they do you are in the minority and you need to take a step back and understand why people are so upset because it's not just about you and and your preferences and what you like and this is not a situation where people are out here screaming for the newest triple a games are there people who have completely unrealistic expectations when it comes to playstation plus and xbox live games with gold of course you have people out here who are expecting to get the Division 2 and stuff like that, and they're, they're they're not worth paying attention to because they clearly have no idea how this should work and how it's supposed to work. And if you scroll down to some of the comments here, you'll see that the, the top comment I see so far is, so I guess next month is Solitaire and Minesweeper. I didn't buy a PS4 to play mobile games. Ne- next month's selection, watch paint dry and eat your vegetables. <laughs> What remains of PS Plus subscribers? Not many. So as you can tell, people are very unhappy here. You know, So the price increased. You reduce six free games to two. And yet the games are worse than the games we've ever seen before in PS Plus in recent memory. Raise price. Remove four games per month. Give worse games than ever before. What are you thinking, Sony? So listen, guys. Like This is a problem. And Sony honestly really needs to try to do something to correct this because it's this is where they need to prove that they're listening of course they've proven a lot right like they're still doing great with their first party lineup there's a lot of things sony is just absolutely nailing and frankly i think that you know this is why there are those individuals who think this is not a big deal but we can't let them slip we have to hold them accountable and we need to let them know sorry about that i actually clicked on the video we need to let them know that this isn't okay. Um, One other thing I do want to mention here is they just released a video on their channel 
on May 13th, actually, and it's over 200,000 views, and it says get free PS4 games as a PS Plus member, and it's basically just explaining what PlayStation Plus is and how you redeem your free games, and this video sits at 3.6K likes and f uh, about 6K dislikes currently, and... Let's read some of these top comments. It says, six games before, PS4, PS3, and Vita, now only two games. Multiplayer content should be free, at least for old titles. Fix your monthly games, it's all trash. Free games that you pay for with a monthly fee, more and more trash every month. I've been doing this for four years, thanks for the tutorial, appreciated. Assuming that's sarcasm. Uh, the only reason why people buy PS Plus is because of the multiplayer. If it wasn't for that, nobody would buy this joke, Sony. These free games y'all giving out is embarrassing. <laughs> Help if you put better games rather than indies. Nope. Not been a PS Plus member since February and not renewing. Not worth it. So, yeah, I mean, it's clear here that, you know, the fans are speaking up. Okay, the fans here, the users of PS Plus, the people who went out and bought PlayStations and, and support Sony, they're letting Sony know loud and clear through one of their most prominent, you know, social media media channels here that this, they need to fix this. It doesn't need to be uh, an amazing month every single month, right? But we also cannot have this stand. We can't have Sony come out here, take away stuff, you know, take away... Uh, value and just basically say here's games that nobody cares about and that's just it so I don't know um, I, I had to make this video because we again we, we really need to to send a message to Sony and also Microsoft I mean at least with Microsoft you're still getting the Xbox 360 games so there is a little bit more value there right uh, Sony can't say that right now a lot of people were expecting that they were going to add a third game to this and I think they should I think they should you know at least if you have three not so great games at least it's increasing the value somewhat but I think at the end of the day what most people would prefer is that Sony just starts putting better games like if you're only gonna have two games now you need to make sure they're good you need to make sure that they're not games that people are gonna be so upset with that you're gonna have 20,000 dislikes on the video announcing these games I mean, it's they're sending a clear message here, Sony, just like we sent the message, uh, you know, with many other things in the past, and you listen, you need to listen to this one. I hope you do, because if this continues, and if the games don't improve, or you don't add some more value to this, people are going to get upset, and the, you know, the best way they're going to be able to convey that is by, you know, as one individual said here in your comments, just not subscribing, not renewing, and you're going to see that in your bottom line. And hopefully it doesn't come to that, but we're going to have to see. I, you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, the only reason I pay for PS Plus is so I could play multiplayer. Same thing with Xbox Live. I don't consider these games free. They're not free, but, you know, they are a bonus for having to pay for this. But at the end of the day, like, you know, multiplayer should be free. And if it's not going to be, you really need to make sure that the value proposition is there and at least make us feel like it's it's worth the money we're paying, right? Because as of right now, we're not getting that. So sorry today's video had to be such a downer, guys. Um, this isn't even really something we can poke at and make fun of and laugh at because it's, it affects everybody, you know. And, and, when, and being a gamer and somebody who prefers consoles, I want to see this change. Um, I really do. So that's going to do it for the video. Uh, be sure to leave your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Leave the video a like if you did enjoy it and if you agree with what I had to say. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit the bell notification icon, and feel free to share this video out. Maybe if it gets shared around enough, you know, somebody at Sony or, or Microsoft will see it and probably ignore it, but hey, you never know. But yeah, until next time, guys, take care.